First thing we want to do is create a sketch. Yeah. So press, yep, that's good. And okay. you can pick any plane you want. Just we want a top plane to find. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now I'd get rid of this data panel just to give us a bit more space. Then you want the insert. SVG? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Press okay. OK. Cool. Oh, yep, that's it. Cool. Yep. So now they're way too small. They need to be scaled up quite a bit. What's your maneuverability? Arrow keys? How am I moving? So hold. Power, hold the mouse wheel down. Okay. Pan. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. So it's it's um, I so you can press D to give you a dimensioning tool, and then mm -hmm. you can pull a dimension. Uh, click a line. Okay. So yeah. That's, yep. Let me know what it is. So what are you? Sure. Yep. Click. Well, I'm thinking of so. The piece of timber I've got cancel yeah. is like that wide, so half of that. So what's that? Two centimeters? Two fifty? Two fifty, yeah. Yeah. About so that was twelve, so you want to go twenty. So press <laughs> press X. Okay. Like, oh, uh, just cancel. Uh, don't don't put dimension. Now uh, um uh, press S. Oh S. Uh, that brings up your Short that brings up your t uh, shortcuts, and uh, now you can type in stuff. So S is just shortcuts. Okay, so cool. and then you type scale, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Sketch scale or scale? Sketch scale because you're in sketch mode. Sure. Right. So sketch would sketch scale would be for solid bodies. Okay. So sketch. So this is uh, it. Right. Every we're in every sketch tool. Mode, we're not in the body mode. Every yeah. tool has a duplicate. So there's a mirror tool, and there's a mirror sketch tool, and there's a mirror gotcha. bodies tool. Okay. So so I got this far and I couldn't figure out how to actually do this. I'm really so curious select, about the Select everything. Oh uh, yeah, I got that. Well, now, where's your origin point? So, so now you go. So these are these is kind of like a drop down menu. So sure. now you're selecting okay. Select. bottom left. Yeah. Sure. Doesn't it's a, sort of arbitrary I think. Yeah, that's selected. Move it up. Doesn't seem to work. Did I miss it? Oh no! I, like this is I just haven't done this before, so I don't know. So I guess you got to pick an origin point. Right. In that case, so that's an origin. Sure. Cool. Now twenty, we said. Scale. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, so now we'll throw a dimension on that. On the so top? Yep. D. Oh. Still 4.4. So, this is the weird thing about the SVG. I don't quite understand how to get it to be a sketch. Well, what happened there? Sweet. Uh, Right. So it's, but it's not scaled those. Yeah, I think that maybe the, you see how they're kind of yellow. I think it's like a lock. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, can we just remake those then? They're very straightforward. So they're just all equal so the, dimensions. No, they're unfixed. Oh, okay. So, so it just comes in as locked geometry. So, oh, now, so now we can that's un it. now that it's blue, it's unlocked. Right. Cool. Okay. So that's when you put the twelve. It came. This is a yeah. this is a um, driven constraint. Yeah. That's why that was. So now, okay. and then zoom home will give us everything. And so if we put D, now we can dimension two three five yeah. So what yeah. we can so do, that right. yeah. Based on what so we could we could put dimensions on there to make sure it was all locked, but yeah. we can actually. Um, Go back to the sketch palette and fix and fix it so that so that now the geometry can't be modified. So now it's locked. Even locked if down. you change the scale or anything. Oh no, no you can't change the scale. So now it's locked. Sure. So how, how, can we reset the origin point? The origin point's obviously miles away from that. Can we? How do we? This doesn't really we, matter. Does it? Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. No. Because you're cool. going to tell it the scale of the media, right? By when you home well, the laser. I just the, thought bit. the home point would want to be close to your model. Just for convenience. It, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. You're fine to do it. It doesn't matter. But okay. if you're, okay. it's a convenience. I won't thing. worry about it. Yeah. It's, it's cool. It's just one of those things where I'm like. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. But it's. Need to worry or? <laughs> it's uh, no, you don't. But but like I said, like there's no. No harm in doing it. No harm in doing it. Either. Because you're homing the laser down 
Yeah, but, I'm sorry, the bit downstairs. But I figured that was going to be trying to home on this point, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. So we That's the origin of the workspace, but oh, it's not the so origin. That, that of you set the origin. Oh, yeah, you okay. set the coordinate system later. Okay. Sure. Okay, so... So basically, that's it. That's scaled to the right size. Okay, and now you can lock it. We need to duplicate it, right? So, we are. We need to duplicate that once, so that we've got... Because there's three, four pieces. Uh, yeah. But is it locked currently? So what I would do is I duplicate the instead of duplicating the sketch, I duplicate the bodies. Okay. So lock it, lock it down like we did last time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And then go press Q. Uh, and then we can extrude. Yeah. Yep. And just select the face. So we cancel out of that. Sure. Maybe you want to set a parameter first, which is material thickness. So S parameter. I think it was the same thickness fly as you had, so 18 or 20 will fly. Okay. So we're going to set an unit. So user oh, yeah. parameters, and you add, add a new one. And so what you have, I just call it map thick. Right. MAP? MAT. T H K. Map thickness. Yeah. Like that. Can be. Yep, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but all good, all good. But you can't have a space. Um, expression, so 18. This is critical though, so if it's wrong, you want to make you want to go. Let me go, go, go check it. Yeah. If go you find get the caliber, caliber wrong, <laughs> yeah. press OK. Sure. But the, but the support beauty of doing it like this is that we can we can go. Oh, I think it's that, and then yeah. change it later. So one parameter um, or multiple? No, that's fine. That's it. What, what, what does the expression refer to? Is that so expression? So it could be eighteen times twenty five point four divided by two. No. So if you add other parameters. Yeah, so, so this is the result. Essentially the dimension of the stock you're working with. Okay. So it wasn't 18, it was 18 times one millimeter. Because uh, it's, it's got a unit. Material thickness. Right. But okay. I was thinking M-A-T-T-H-K. I'm reading that like Matt Heck. <laughs> oh, so good. So now press Q okay. and extrude it. Selecting a face. Both faces. Both faces. Uh, control. Uh, yeah. Yep. No. So if you ever in doubt what you're selecting, you can change this. Okay. You can or you just click here, and the blue thing is what it is. Okay. Now, um, press. You, what, what you want to do is just uh, type in the distance. So what were we saying? Eighteen. Uh, Matt thick. Oh right. Okay. Sure, because it's a parameter we've already created. Okay. So now go um, instead of new body, create a new component. Okay. And press OK. That's it. So now um, you can pan around so you can see the third. With the middle marker. Uh, so what I would do is I'd use shift middle mouse wheel and then you can orbit the view orbit. Choice. Cool. So then it hasn't become a body yet or it has become a body? They are bodies. They're, cool. they're solid bodies now. Sure. So what I would do is now do a construction plane off to the side. Okay. So um, could you bring up the material? Right. It's only about that big. It's not too big. Yeah, so but do we want to make we want to make it like that way, right? So we want to mirror. This yes, way. I would say. So make a construction plane, offset plane. Offset. Yep. So same plane. Uh, no, here. Okay. You're offsetting from that face. Sure. And we want to go maybe um, go uh, mat thick times two divided by three. Over three like that. Yep. Enter. Okay. Or just enter. Yeah. Yep. I had it. Yep. That was weird. It's like it doesn't like the expression. How'd you do times two? Did you do it? With Did the you start, do it? yeah, with the asterisks. Did you? Yeah. Anyway. So now we've got we now we've got a plane and it's dependent on the thickness, so now we've got that spacing as we want. Okay. So if we up the thickness yeah. or lowered the thickness, it would bring so them close together. the same dimension as the thickness of the material, sorry? Times two divided by three, so it's um, 75%. Yeah. So, so when we add two sure. of them, there'll be one and a half. Gotcha. So, so. gotcha. Which is what you said roughly for the... Yeah, but it's... it's could be material thickness plus two millimeters. Sure. Also be fine. So I've just thought of a slight error in my plan, right? Yeah. So the thickness of these things, in order for this to fit together... Oh no, because it's going to go over that way. No, that's going to work. Okay, sorry. So, material thickness... 20 mil. 20.5 mil. <laughs> what, actually, 20? 20? 20.05. So it's 20 mil. So you can update the, the S for parameters? Yeah. What's that S? 
S P Pro. Oh yeah, it's a search menu, right? P A R. Papa, help me. Nice. So you can just update that. Perfect. Twenty point two. Oh, I reckon 20.1 is probably fine because it's, it's like 20.05 or something. Yep. So. We'll put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it in. 20.05 is gone. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. And yep. that would work? Yep. So you can so you can do press I for inspect. Okay. And then you can select one of the edges. So orbit again. See how it gives you the length there? Yeah. So orbit so you can see a vertical component and select that like select the line so oh that's a point right so maybe yeah so again clear the selection and select the line you got it yep yeah. so now you can see 20 point 12. cool right. so can you tell me how far it is oh so this still isn't the cutout is it or is that going to be the dimensions on our piece or what do you mean like is, are these spaces going to change when we rearrange things no. Not yet. Okay. So we can. So I just want to know what's the difference from here to here, and I'll just oh, double check can. it yeah, fits yeah. in so the material. So you can do that right now. Press I. Sure. And pick two points. So here and here. That one, and then yep. Shift. Perfect. Control. Just there. Sure. Oh, Five forty. That's cool. That's no cross from each other. That's yeah. That's slightly longer. Close enough. Right down those hockeys. Yeah. So it's I just like a ruler. Eyes an inspection tool, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. But if you just press S and type. Yeah, like because you've got a CAD background, it's all the, all the terminology is sort of the same. So yeah. it's like Rhino, where you can like type in just like oh, yeah, yeah. I can't like I tried Rhino, I can't use it. <laughs> but it's, it's, you, like this was difficult for me, but now I'm fast as yeah. hell. I'm sure, like, like one or two tutorials just to create something from start to finish to figure out. Your yeah, own. yeah, yeah. So there's a good one for a, which does like a laptop stand and just do just do it a few times and then you'll be away. You'll okay. Yeah. Can you do one more measurement from this corner to this corner? And tell me if that's under 14. 5, 5 16. Okay, so we need to scale the whole thing down slightly just so that width is 14. All right, so how do I do that? 400. To close? Close this? Because that would be like opening that, right? So what we could look at the time, the True, history okay. bar. Back to the sketch, yeah. So. So you can edit the sketch again. All right. Oh, here okay. we go. So if we just go down to say, and you need to do it back in the sketch. It's not. It's it depends. Back. We could have, we could have built the whole thing up to here, and then he could have come and told us what yeah. the dimensions are. Sure. Yeah. And then we could put it. So, so if you just make that so, one. And but if if we scale five. the body, like that's I think that's what the there's a there's another tool called stretch scale, which is probably we can scale x y but not right z. Yeah. For example, right. yeah. but uh, but I'm not sure. I'm just the sure best way to do it is to start from <laughs> yeah, yeah, start yeah. start like build it as accurately as you can. <laughs> so so we want to go is? about what seventy five percent. One seventy. Seventy five percent. No no no. Delete that. Oh yeah. yeah. You got to delete that because that's a constraint. That's a constraint at the moment. Delete the dimension. Oh right. Yeah. Now this is locked, so you want to yeah. unlock it. Sure. Then S for scale. Yeah. Scale. No, not that one. Oh, not sketch scale? Oh, was it sketch scale? Sorry, yep. yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was stretch scale. Stretch scale. Oh, yeah. uh, everything, then, yeah. Cool. Oh, so like everything? Yep. And origin, point origin. Oh, it's down here now. Yeah. Yeah, we moved it. Now. Yeah. Now make it Scale point. factor 0. 0.75, yeah. Cool. Cool. And then we, we can... Uh, stop sketch? Can... Stop sketch by going, where were we at? Just that one or that one? Okay, cool. Oh, stop sketch. Okay. Now you can do, do inspections again. Oh, that's it. Because we've come out of the sketch, so now we've got a model again. Yeah. Because oh. you just affected yeah. that the timeline. Timeline, right? Cool. Okay. Uh, so you want to check which time travel way? this way or that way? Uh, oh. both. Yeah. Why don't you just go there to there? Because we'll just put yeah. And I'll give you. It should give you change in oh, okay. x and change in y, or change in. Oh, interesting. It gave us z and y. Uh, so two ten. Yeah, that's. Can we just do the? Cause that's five forty six. If we just do we'll one in there, yeah. Three ninety four. Perfect. We're under four hundred. Yeah. So the cool. other way, I should be. Oh, you'd have to go a bit further than that actually, because there's those things on the edge. Plus three seventy plus. So yeah. that'll be three eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can probably it's tighten actually, these up a bit, but pretty. 
it's pretty symmetrical anyway. So yeah, that'll fit on the end of the board. We can actually print two of these boxes if <laughs> I've got enough material. If you want. <laughs> so we'll go this one's to the top. Fine for me. Yep. So Oh, what's that? Cool. I like that angle. View cube. Cool. Yep. So, one last thing to do to this before we can machine it. Um, so, press S. There's a tool called Dog Bones. So, S. And pr dog, D O G B. Maybe. No. So, it's, a, it's a, and it's an add in. So, it would be under a plug uh, it's, not a, it's not in there. It's not in store. Wait, how mm -hmm. is this getting assembled? You're having. You got four faces there. Yeah. No, you've got, it's just going to be a, a an open open on both ends. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Right. So it's just going to be the like, finger joints. It's not a box. Like, like a shadow. <laughs> yeah, this is like a shadow box. Sure, sort of yeah, thing yeah. With no My, back. I've got a vague idea. I want to just put a lamp fitting on the top of it, so it'll be like a little lamp. Oh, cool. it's, right. it's just a simple thing. It was really just a simple thing. I want to see how the wood fits, you know, from the tolerances, because theoretically they should yeah. that should be perfect. But um. Obviously, oh, that's not going to be perfect because it. it's real material. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Also, you've got all that, um, what do you call it? Scarf? Yeah. Well, what's the name? Scarf, the loose material yeah, that's been scarf. cut. That's what um, Cameron called it. I oh, believe. Swarf. 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 That's what comes out of a drill, though. Right. It's actually got different names. Oh, depending, depending on the on tool. I thought it was yeah. okay. slang. So, they called so swarf, swarf is the stuff that spirals, spirals up. Oh, right. oh okay. Because it's never just called chips if you're like milling metal. Mm. Uh, but, yeah. Uh -huh. That's good, <laughs> but I don't. Not to say that I know it all. So these are add-ins, so you can do like gears okay. and stuff. So, so this like is a the, plug-in. This is the thing. map boards. Uh, dog bone is the one we want to use. Mm -hmm. What is it? Sorry, how did you get what, this? Sorry. What's a dog bone? So these are. So it's got Python. This you can you can yeah. run bright Python scripts. So oh, yeah. It, so there's a thing. Called, there's a really good one called Slicer. So you make like a really complex 3D shape, and it'll actually just uh, create yeah. the. Yeah. The layers to yeah, do like a, a model, like you know, all out and glue it all together. And yeah, yeah, like yeah. a Death Star. Or, 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 or it actually makes like a grid, like a, like a, yeah. like a you That's can give like yourself fifty bucks. Oh. Yeah. oh wow! So, oh yeah, I've seen people do that. So they'll make like a big three D landscape or something out of pieces, and they cut each piece out, or yeah. print each piece, and then yeah, build uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Right. So, um, so this is called Dog Bone. So this is the tool here. So you go Dog Bone. <laughs> interior edges a solid body so uh -huh. a dog bone basically is ex like what it sounds like mm -hmm. um, when you've got when you uh, when you've got two bits of material and they're hitting at different angles the problem with a, a router tool is it cuts a circle right so you'd be trying to fit that into a part that's cut like that mm -hmm. you know what I mean so you need to overcut the corners so that the parts will actually. Oh, so the dog bone is about together. those lumps at the end of the dog yeah. bone. I see yeah. what you mean. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to think if that was. Right. So, there's, so there's different types of dog bones. You can pick. You can pick a dog bone that goes like that. Mm -hmm. Or you can pick a dog bone that goes like that. Uh, yeah. Or you could pick an intermediate dog bone. Yeah. yeah. Sort of like just, just like rounding a little bit. So obviously you have to count. Yeah, just because you want the hard edge from here to be able to actually sit all the way into that corner, so that otherwise it won't fit, right? So we're going to do a bit of a trick here. Yeah. We keep, we're going to pick four mil as our dog bone tool diameter. So we're going to use a six mil tool to cut this out, except mm. for the dog bones. We're going to mm. use a smaller tool so that you get a uh, yeah, so it's tighter, a little bit tighter, right. a tighter and edge. That'll make for a better fit in theory. Yeah. Okay. So now we can pick along both both sides. That'll that's. Uh, it'll make a better fit, but it'll also make it less obvious. Because because mm -hmm. if you see CNC furniture, they've always got huge uh, yeah, yeah. dog bones, and you don't you don't really need it. Mm. I wasn't even sure if I wanted the dog bones. I figured yeah, I'd probably still just have gaps, you know, like. But this is great. This is another reason I picked this model because I know he makes furniture and fits it together. So I thought mm -hmm. I'd learn. So like create minimum dog bones. Okay. Um, hopefully this works now. Does it know which axis it's looking at? Who knows? It does, yeah. So oh, I see. You're Y playing it. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it works. Cool. Maybe not. So you can see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. So we've, we've actually used a tool called, we've actually used something called minimal dog bone. So it actually sort of. It tries it, not to fuck up the material. Well, okay, it, well it, just, it just gives you the littlest bit. Mm. It, that's actually halfway, right? Yeah. Um, because the timber's going to comply a little bit mm. so so this is a this is sort of like the best way to get the right, right down to the minimum okay. so so you don't end up with a really overcut yeah, real ugly joint mm. awesome so all right yep um now 
we're ready to model. I mean, to fabricate. Oh, so go cool. model. Go manufacture. manufacture. And um, right click here. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, new setup up top. Oh, new setup. So now what we want to pick a model, pick the model objects. So pick all of the bodies. Two, three, four. Uh. Now stock. Uh, we want a no additional stock, so just just change that up. Shop. So that tells gives you your stock size, mm -hmm. which is should correspond with what we had before. Yeah. Oh, um, we still want to modify that. Sorry. Oh. Go edit, right click, edit. Yep. That, oh, I told you to do the wrong thing. So now you want to pan uh, orbit, so you can get a good isometric view. Chip. Sure. Like that. Yep. That'll do. Uh, now what you want to do is get the X uh, that way, Y that way, Z that way, all of the all the way this way, all the way this way. No, you want just the stock. The stock needs to all be in positive right X, cool. Y, and Z. How am I manipulating this? <laughs> like that? I didn't know you could do that. So you taught me something. <laughs> I think when you click the axis, it just switches it. Yeah, oh right, sure. Yeah. Nice. So you need, yeah. to, <laughs> you need to pick here. Yep. It's like Z axis. And Y plane. So click, 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 click the top one. The one that's selected. Plane. Oh yeah. And now just click, plane. click a face, click a face, the top face. Sure. And now that orange Z. So oh, Z's okay, wrong, cool. so you can flip it. Right. Okay. Flip. And X is wrong, so you can flip that. By selecting it. Yep. So now you want now origin. Mm -hmm. You stock want point? you mm -hmm. want all of the stock to be in positive. So it's got to be the bottom point. Yeah. Just there we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah because obviously positive. it's where your stock is. Yeah. 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 We, don't, we don't cut in negative space, we only cut in positive space. Okay. So is that's because it's like building it up, not like down, is that right? Well, that's because, yeah, that's just the way the We only want to cut your media. Yeah. yeah, so like, I mean, it's it, it, all these conventions, as long as you're consistent, yeah. mm. it, um, it's fine. But but st if you stick to this, everything mm. will work good. <laughs> we're, we're learning, yeah, it's it's hard because some of the stuff we're learning, we're learning because this is how to use this machine. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. some of these rules is just the way this. Well, you could you up. could use this machine. Yeah, yeah. No, you could actually do that's that's not hundred percent true. You could okay. do it differently, but but you're a lot more likely <laughs> if, right. if, if 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 I say what you should do and mm. you stick to it, you'll have a much higher chance success. of success. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what we're that's what all I'm interested yeah. in is highest chance of success. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Not not the deepest yeah. understanding might yeah. be. Cool. So yeah. press OK. Sweet. Now go right click. New operation. Oh, sorry. Create from template, mm -hmm. and so you can see the operation. So we put this this one here. Sure. Yep. And that's essentially a preset. Yeah, it's a preset list of things that are typical. Sure. I could pop that down. So if you could tolerate some holes in here, we could model some holes to, to put I was, down. I was thinking but, about but that. That's prob to. probably a good idea. Well, even that old tabs. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Well, I mean... The yeah, you still have thick. to put... You'll have yeah. to put drill holes in the corners. Yeah. Um, what, yeah. What happens if we cut this out without holding these down though we're going do you to mean drill holes like no, you, they'll yeah. flip out no. yeah they'll yeah, mean drill holes here or on the actual well yeah because once you've cut the edge out you have to hold this somehow right so sure. i guess tabs you use tabs, for this yeah. one and tabs it's is fun. a little bit but nicer, would it just be tabs along this outside edge yeah that's fine you, you'll have enough you have yeah, you put the tabs in the middle so sure. what we should do is try and put a drill hole in the center so to hold okay everything but but we can do that later okay. so we can we'll start here um, so first thing we want to do, so actually I've got these um, one four two and one these one four twos. They proceed. Mm -hmm. This is a bit of a dirty trick. This is called uh, do this one first. We're not doing any pocketing, so you can actually delete the pocket, delete that one, and you can delete this one six two pocket. So because we're not doing any pocketing, sure. So uh, edit that. Yep. Edit tool. No, edit the operation. Yeah. So this is go to the uh, contours, and you can see we're doing rest machining. Mm -hmm. So what rest machining is? It's it's assuming you're only doing what's left. So we're doing what's left right. of the job. Sure. Okay. Right. So according to this, we're told that it's it's already done a five point five operation, which is that one. Right. Understand? No. Sure. That's in the wrong order then. It's in the wrong order, but yeah. it's on purpose. Oh. So now select the geometry, um, select the bottom contour. That, that one? Yep. Two. Every, oh, just all of them. Yep. 
Okay, and press OK. Now let's take a look at the toolpath. So all it's doing, uh, we can simulate this. Press right click, simulate. Oh, on there? Yep, right click, simulate. Now play. So you can see all it's doing is the little corners. So this is what that drill this is bit, just making the, that four mil drill bit. the dog bone. Okay. Oh, the red so we want to do this first. Here. Do we want to do this first? Yeah. Huh? Do we not want to do this first? We'll or? do this first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just like every, we know that everything's going to be in the right position. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's going to take a while. In reality. It might take a little bit to cut. Yeah, there's actually. a lot of edges. <laughs> <laughs> At um, least a lot of them straight, right? Yeah, there's no. So you can skip this. We don't have to do. This would be a pain in the ass to make by hand, which is the other reason yeah. I made it, because it's a mm -hmm. handy thing to have, but a real pain in the ass to cut out with a so band we'll saw go, or a or something. So then we'll go like. follow yeah. it up, change that For one. For me, edit. anyway, because I've used that. Yeah. Get it wrong, <laughs> and I'd fuck something up and cut one of those off. Yep. And <laughs> so, so, so. Yeah, yeah. Pick the tool. The contour? Yeah. The top one? Uh, the bottom. One? bottom. Cool. So you might notice something else. This is actually a 6 mil tool, but we're doing... Uh, the tool diameter that we picked is 5.5. .5. Oh, okay. I think you said 4. Uh, that, well, that was the last one. This okay. one's a 6 tool, but we've actually... Go, go back to the, the... You can see the... It's a 5.5 .5 diameter. Cool. So, did we select the contours? Did that work? Yep. Okay. Press OK. So, we've the reason I did 5.5 is, is it's just enough to make the female... Oh, it's just a bit a bigger bit. and the um, male one's a bit smaller does that make sense fine, fine. the male ones will be slightly smaller smaller female, slightly will smaller. they oh, if it's so it's we're telling it it's oh we're telling it it's a 5.5 but we're so using it's a get closer to it's getting yeah, closer yeah, to the, yeah. so basically the females sense. will be bigger the males will be smaller and basically that's enough to sort of it's half a mil about right from your experience you reckon yeah okay cool Sorry. perfect that's so, right. so i mean we just i just i just played yeah. with that and that's actually the, the neatest way to deal with clearance right, yeah. issues. Right. Instead yeah. of actually trying to Coding adjust your geometry. Yeah, right. So make everything perfect in the model and then just tweak it slightly with little tricks like that. Mm. Yeah, that's, that that's a d bit of a dirty trick, but it yeah, works. Yeah. And you're always selecting the bottom contour. Good tip. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you can select the top. Because they're then, identical in this particular case. Yeah, but it might get confused. Um, so I select the bottom because it knows to cut to that depth. Sure. But yeah. you can actually tell it... I want, so in here we can modify. In the, um, this is the, 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 the depths. You can see you've got um, roughing passes, multiple depths, passes. So um, we can actually put stock to leave. So you can actually leave stock at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then th there is a way to pick the top. To pick the top, you can pick the top to contour, but tell it to cut to stock bottom. Mm. So you could actually do like a two D drawing on top of a piece of timber, and, but it's a, yeah, right. It's a bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we need to add tabs. So right, uh, edit that again and add tabs. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Edit tabs. Linking uh, geometry. I think it's on it. Tabs. Yeah. So you can do pick it by distance. So we can you can just type. Make it three mil because we found that the no, not that oh. one. That's the tab width. Oh, sure, yeah. As you said, height. So we three mil just again applies in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then tab distance, we can adjust that. So the average length. Oh, this length, can like automatically just add tabs around yeah, the model, right? But but it, it's usually along the the contour, the individual contour or the individual line element needs to be greater than that. To sure. actually put one. So, because this is 250 is a maximum, it sure. won't work. So, 100 might be appropriate. Okay. Just put 100 and it'll you'll be able to see what it looks like. So, you can oh, yeah. see. I can see the little tabs there. You can see a tab and it's just placed it in the middle. Hmm. So, I probably want more than that. So, let's so double go. that. Let's try 70 or something. Let's, yeah, let's try 75. 75. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Two. So, I've got two. That's probably good enough. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I've only got one on here. Maybe we're going to just go a bit lower. Yeah, go 50. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah. Get three yeah. there, two there, sure. Should be right. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so that's the tool. We can see that toolpath of that final. Yep. So it's just uh, 
a four mil drill for the first drill holes and then a tool change for we adding the screws. So we should put the screws in now. So there's probably, like, and this is the beauty of the fusion is that you can keep going back and oh, actually we want to change something slightly. So right. what we should do back in uh, model mm. um, is we can create a new sketch on the top surface and just put a point. Mm. Meh. <laughs> Meh. I think I've got just enough wood for that. <laughs> yeah, let's, well, let's just keep it, we'll keep it like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, hopefully they won't. Now we can see that. So this would be nice. the initial holes you'd be drilling, or? Yeah. Well, we can, can we just get those to get cut when it does those relief cuts? So it cuts those holes for us? Oh no, we have to hold the material down. I was just like, how are we gonna figure out where those holes are before it's done any cuts, you know what I mean? Oh, we'll go through that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just it's like... all in the... So one more. We'll just try... I think we probably should do this. Um, we might just add a fillet. Uh, not, I actually don't want that edge. I want... Is there a way to do a fillet by face? So... This is probably one thing for this sketch might be a good idea or we could roll back bef before we did the mirror so then we don't have to do it to everything mm -hmm. we can we can edit the geometry before the mirror so Perfect. what i would do is we want to probably just add like maybe a one millimeter fillet or two just to all these edges and what i mean is that when yeah. we're pushing everything together it's not got hard edges it'll yeah. roll into it a little bit sure we can do so it's a Convex or concave curve? It's just a little flat bit, is it? Or just, oh, it's a curve because you want to do it with the same curve. Yeah, it'll be a curve. You could do, you could do, a, could do a what chamfer, what's called a chamfer. Yeah. yeah, but this is a... So I'm not sure what you mean by convex, concave, because I don't know what side you're talking about. Sure. Um, yeah. It could be either, depending yeah. on which way, which way you're... Be convex from outside the material. Yes, yeah, so if it's outside, convex. yeah. Mm -hmm. So and you can the good this little arrow, mm. you can pull it to oh, get right, an okay. idea of Change what it. The... Well, just till it looks about sure, right, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. round it to something that's good. So let's yeah. just put one for the minute. And is that enough? I reckon. I mean, it, could you it looks, maybe? It looks a little bit. Yeah. Can you put like uh, maybe two point five and just so see what that looks like? Edit that feature. Yeah, make it like a, an actual design feature rather than. Yeah, like that's that looks okay. I reckon that'll look fine. Yeah. So then it'll also help help assembly. Sure. Everything will go together a bit yeah. easier. And yeah. finish as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So it'll look yeah, it'll look nicer yeah. when you sand it. Yeah. Cool. Come back. So now we can go to Which I'm not gonna do. I won't sand it. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray it with clear coat. <laughs> So we're not using this one for two tools, so delete that, sorry. Um, I'll get you to do it. And this, three? Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, edit. Delete. Uh, oh, no, edit, sorry. Geometry. Um, whole mode, go points. Now pick those points, one, two, three. Yep, oh, it's got a, it already picks them up. Oh, nice. It's got two there. No, I've got them all. Pick them all oh, right. Okay. Just oh, you, you selected two, but, but it'll go all poor. Sure. So then height. Now what you can go is bottom height, whole bottom. Don't pick that. Pick, pick stock bottom. Because there's no hole, so that's if you, if you go back, t turn that. Off. You can see the little dropper line there. Sure, sure. So turn that off again. Um, turn. Go back to whole bottom. There's no hole, so it's not actually going to drill. <laughs> Oh, okay. it's a point so, but now we're just—it's yeah. it's a point. So, yeah, but now what I we're see. telling it is drill Actually here a, and go to the stock bottom. Don't worry about the geometry. Right. Okay. So it's another stock another bottom. hack. Right. Okay. Another little trick. You just had to put points and rather than modeling mm. cylinders yeah, okay. and all that. Yeah, stuff. you don't have to right, model a cylinder, right. yeah. but you can—it's easy to do that. Sure. But you have to model sure. a stock as well. So sure. Since, since we we knew the purpose and he's done yeah. this a thousand times, this is the quick way. Yeah. Cool.
Uh, cool. So one thing we should do is just have a look at um, when you're drilling sort of without any geometry is just... So we can select all these and press, I think it's Control G to regenerate everything. And then I'll get rid of the, clear those warnings. So the warnings only occur when there's been some change to geometry and you have modeled it. Sure. So we can see, you can see the little four mil tool going in there. You can see the six mil tool. I'm rounding out the drill. Are they color coded? Uh, so the green is for like um, jog, blue is for a cut. Right. So I think there's, I don't, there might be other, be other things in there as well. But, um, so we can do a simulation, which will run. And we can speed, you can speed it up. I don't know what that red line is. Mm. <laughs> yeah, is that a yeah. worry? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, oh, usually so it's a worry, but it moves yeah. as well. Yeah. It looks like it's going to cut a hole through that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> it looks fine. Oh, yeah, oh because it it's good. between when it cuts the holes and when it moves back to the oh, original. No, yeah. oh, that, that might yeah. be the start. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cool. Right. I'm like, oh, this is a simple part. This looks really complicated now. I mean, obviously, it's just a series of steps, but it's quite amazing how much oh, but I mean, yeah, information gets generated to do yeah. this stuff. Mm. So now, um, post process. Nice. So, uh, you can, yeah, post process. So what I, I just usually reverse date. So uh, 2019, 10, 05. Sure, sure. ISO date, it's called. Cool. And then um, it's easier box for finding things. Box here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Box V one. Well, we thought finger box, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Finger joint box was what I called it. Yeah. Mm. So this is actually the program comment. So make it the program name as well. Copy paste. Just copy paste it. Copy paste there. And then um, I'm not sure if the this might have the right configurations. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Post process post. Desktop? Uh, desktop, yeah. Or yeah. desktop, no, yeah. Cool, that's fine, is it? So TAP is a TAP file? They're CNC files, so there's .nc. They're all text files. Don't okay. worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's all good. You can take this and put it in a text file. It'll still recognize it the same. Sure. So the, remember the, what we had to do last time? Uh, G43, right? Yep, clear out mm. the G43s. Uh, what is that, Command F? Or find and replace kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, no, get, you want to get rid of the whole line. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah. that's so H, want... that's that tool 142. So yeah, and you can leave the line blank. You could leave the line blank, but you're in it. How many are there? Um, every tool has one, so there's about three tools. Mm. So there should be three, but just okay. keep G40. Yep. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, so what uh, do we do? Well, we did only do two tools, right? How? We did the six mil and the four mil. No, well, the first tool. Oh, because like the drill, the four mil drill mm. is using the four mil mill. Right, okay. So that milling job. This one, drill, is using a, a mill. Got you. So, but we usually you could you could use a four mil drill. Yeah. But, but we're just cheating. So we, we don't have to do as many tool changes. Sure. Right. <laughs> so, um, email that to MechMate43. Just save it. Uh, yeah, cl close, close. Yep, save and close. Yep, close. Then go here. I'll email. Just, just like generally attachment email. Yep. Easy peasy. Oh, there's the dot one. Put this on um, uh, YouTube. It's got all my personal files and uh, contact information. There it is. Where? Oop. So Mac Mac. I probably get millions of emails about <laughs> Mac Mac. Cool. So I'll be right on the machine downstairs. Cool. Great. 